have three stories to read for I must read a thon. Uh, so these all of these stories are from the book Sarah Scary st Stories to Tell in the Dark, and that uh, book is made by Alvin Schwartz. Uh, this is our first story that we're going to be reading is uh, a man who lives in Leeds. Some say this rhyme doesn't mean anything, but others are not so sure. There was a man who lived in Leeds. He filled his garden full of seeds. And when the seeds began to grow, it was like a garden full of snow. But when the snow began to melt, it was like a ship without a belt. And when the ship began to sail, it was like a bird without a tail. And when the bird began to fly, it was like an eagle in the sky. And when the sky began to roar, it was like a lion at my door. And when the door began to crack, it was like a penknife inside of my back. And when my back began to bleed, I was dead. Dead, dead indeed. Ah! Oh, okay. Uh, so that was our first story, which is a man who lived in Leeds, as I said. Let's go on to our next story. A, na a man named Rupert lived his, with his dog in a house deep inside the woods. Rupert was a hunter and a trapper. The dog was a big German shepherd named Sam. Rupert had raised Sam from a pup. Almost every morning, Rupert went hunting, and Sam stayed behind and guarded the house. The house. One morning, as Rupert was checking his traps, he got the feeling that something was wrong at home. He hurried back as fast as he could, but when he got there, he found that Sam was missing. He searched the house and the woods nearby, but Sam was nowhere to be seen. He called and he called, but the dog did not answer. For days, Rupert looked for Sam, but he could find no trace of him. Finally, he gave up and he went back to his work. But when inside the morning, he heard something moving inside the attic. He picked up his gun, then he thought, I'd better be quiet about this. So he took off his boots and he, in his bare feet, he began to climb the attic stairs. His, he slowly took one step, then another, and then another until he had reached the attic door. He stood outside listening, but he didn't hear a thing. Then he opened the door and... Ah! Why do you think Rupert screamed? You wonder. You'd scream too if you stepped on a nail with your bare feet. Okay, that uh, was a bit more like Bodo or whatever. We'll take out another one. Okay, let's move on to story three. This is our last story, so we're gonna have a nice time after this. Uh, what do you come for? There was an old woman who lived by her all by herself. And she was very lonely, sitting in the kitchen one night. She said, oh, I wish I had some company. No sooner than she spoken, than down the chimney tumbled two feet in which flesh has rotted. The old woman's eyes bolted in terror. Then two legs dropped to the heart and attached themselves to the feet. Then a body tumbled down, then two arms and a man's head. As the old woman watched, the parts came together into a great 
gangling man. The man danced around and around the room. Faster and faster he went. Then he stopped and he looked into their eyes. What do you come for? She asked inside a small voice that shivered and shook. What do I come for? He said. I come for you! So I do guys, I really do wish everybody a very, very happy Halloween. And please, it's MS Readathon, please support and keep on doing whatever you're doing with MS Readathon. Link inside the description below. Goodbye.